welcome to another episode with the Grim Ripper. My name is Jason and I will be hosting the show today. Today is our Saturday skirmish. But before we get started with that, I just want to remind everyone that if you like this video and enjoy what we're doing here on the channel, make sure to hit that like button. It would be cool to see likes equaling views. That would be a pretty cool thing. Also, if you are not currently a subscriber to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. We're trying to reach 250 subscribers. We're three away from 200 right now. So uh, the next plateau is 250. That is where we will have another giveaway for subscriber totals. Also, make sure to jump on over to Patreon. That is where you can support the channel with a monthly donation. The lowest level is $3 per month. That's just 10 cents a day. And that gives you early access to everything on our website for 48 hours. And that also gets you a free card every month that is personalized to you, be it a favorite player, a favorite team, or just someone that you're collecting in your personal set. Uh, let's see. Also, check out our website, thegrimrippersden.com. That is where you'll be able to buy into all of our breaks and live streams and also the Saturday skirmish. And I want to thank all of my subscribers up to this point. All of you that have gotten me close to 200, I do appreciate that. I also wanted to thank all of you for your thoughts and prayers going out to Clay of Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. Still waiting for some updates on his condition, but uh, uh, the last update I had was that he was doing pretty well. So we'll wait for more updates there. All right, on to the skirmish today. We thought we were only going to have one person signed up, but some of the other subscribers came through yesterday. We now have four contestants, and you can see their names right here on the battleground. We have Debbie, we have Muskoka Cards, we have Steve and Kyle's Cards. Now, Debbie has won both of our Saturday skirmishes. Our first official one was two weeks ago. We had one last week, and she has won both of them. So our three contenders here are going to try to remove Debbie from her perch atop the uh, mountain of pack wars here. So as you can see, with four folks participating, we will have two first round contests to determine who goes into the semifinals here, and then that will determine our champion for this week. I uh, randomly put them in this order before the uh, video started, so that's why they're seated in this fashion. All right, for the first round between Debbie and Muskoka Cards, they will be battling for best career batting average. Round two between Steve and Kyle's Cards, they will be battling for most career home runs. And in our semi-final for the champion, or in our final for the championship, the statistic that we will be using is shortest player. Those were also randomly generated for the rounds. Now, the seeding puts Debbie first, so she will get her packs from the top left corner of the box of Donruss. And that is a sealed box of Donruss that we have right here, brand new box of 2020 Donruss trading cards. Each player is going to get three packs of cards from that box. They'll use one pack in the first round. If they make it to the second round, they'll use a pack. And so the most that any individual, individual will use is two packs. However, they get to keep all three packs to take home for participating in the Saturday skirmish today. We like to call the packs that they use in there their weapons of war, since this is a pack war. Those are the weapons. All right, so Debbie will get three packs from the top left corner. Muskoka Cards will get the other three packs from the top left. Then the top right corner will be split, Steve getting the top three packs and Kyle getting the bottom three packs. So let's dig in to the armory here and pull out the weapons of war so that we can get this underway. And what have I done with my knife? I just had it in my hand. 
it will be bad. There it is. I found it. <laughs> it would be bad if I didn't have a knife. So here we go. Let's cut open the armory here. Get our packs out. As I said, Debbie will get the top three Grab that first stack out, make sure we have the right amount. I think this one slipped over. One, two, three, one, two, three, very nice. So Debbie, see if we can get my camera to focus here, it's being weird. How strange is that? Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go, <laughs> really strange. All right, Debbie, one, two, three packs right off the top. You will be to my left. Muskoka cards, you'll be to the right for this round. Okay, I just want to check to make sure we have... Perfect. Our top right stack is good with six packs of cards. Here we go, round one of today's Saturday Skirmish. Debbie, you get the honor of having the first pack to be opened as you are seated number one. Best career batting average is what we're looking for in round one. Best career batting average. I'm going to start with a Chris Bryant, Mike Yastrzemski, Josh Bell, a George Springer foil card, Lewis Thorpe, Isan Diaz, Marcus Simeon, and Michael King is going to bring up the rear. Let's flip these over and find the batting averages here. So Michael King is a pitcher. No batting average for him. No stats on the Diamond King cards. Isan Diaz has a batting average of 173. That's your top one so far. Lewis Thorpe is a pitcher. George Springer has a career average of 270. 270, that's a pretty good average. Josh Bell has an average of 265. Here we go, Mike Yastrzemski has a batting average career of 272. That's going to be your best so far, 272. Let's see if Chris Bryant has, yep, Chris Bryant. I knew he'd have a good one. He has an average of 284. So Chris Bryant is the leader right now with the batting average of 284. So Debbie, let's uh, hope he holds up for you. That'll get you into the second round if he holds up there. Muskoka cards, here we go. Here is your weapon of war. Let's open this up. See if you can knock Chris Bryant off of his pedestal over there with his batting average of 284. We're gonna start off with a Carlos Santana, followed by a Mashiro Tanaka, he's a pitcher. Then we're going to have a Vladimir Guerrero insert that's, oh, check this out. The first autograph of the box, and it's a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And it's on an insert card from the uh, classified department here. Wow, that is sweet, Muskoka Cards. You have a Vladdy Jr. autographed card. Excellent stuff. Followed by a Manny Machado. An Aloy Jimenez card. I know Debbie likes Aloy Jimenez with the socks. Anthony Kay, a pitcher. George Brett. Now he was a hitter. I'm not sure what his final career average was. And then we have Joe Palumbo. Let's get started. We're going to I'm gonna put George Brett to the back for a little bit of suspense here. Carlos Santana. 250. That won't do it. Tanaka is a pitcher, so he gets off to the side. This does not have stats on there. We'll get that sleeved up for you. 
Manny Machado. 279. That will not move you ahead. Aloy Jimenez, the rookie. Did he have a sweet rookie season? Not sweet enough. 267 for Aloy Jimenez. Anthony K is a pitcher, so we'll have no average on his. Palumbo is a pitcher. No batting average for him. So it all comes down to George Brett. Did George Brett have a 284 batting average for his career? Let's take a look. He ended his career with a batting average of 305. So George Brett, Hall of Famer George Brett, takes the contest away from our champion, Debbie from Chicago. Debbie, you have been knocked off your pedestal. Oh, you had a nice run. Two championships under your belt. Two championships for Debbie, but today, Muskoka Cards is going to move forward in the contest. All right, now, just as we did last week, when someone gets knocked out of the competition, we do open their last two weapons of war. That way we all get to see some cool cards, get some things opened on the video. And then I will show you what Muskoka Cards has won for winning the first round. So Debbie, here are your two packs. We've got Whit Merrifield, Shane Bieber, Nolan Arenado, a nice spacer card there. Garrett Cole, come on camera, there we go. Garrett Cole, Logan Allen, a nice Lewis Robert rookie. That's a nice uh, prize to take home. Even if you didn't move ahead in the competition, you got the Lewis Robert. Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin. And Hall of Famer Jim Rice of the Boston Red Sox. So that's a pretty good second pack. Nice Lewis Robert rookie in there. And your third weapon of war. Let's see what you have here. Okay. It's pretty thick. You either have a spacer or a relic in here. There's Christian Vasquez. Sandy Alcantara. Walker Bueller. Look at this. You have a Mookie Betts relic. A Mookie Betts that looks like a game used swatch. Yep, that's what you've got right here. A Mookie Betts game used swatch from, uh, he's from the uh, Boston Red Sox. So Debbie, you took home the relic last week and you're taking the relic home today as well. Followed by a Yu Chang rookie in the insert series, a Logan Webb, Josh Bell, and finally a Jonathan Daza rookie card. So you ended up with some nice cards from your Weapons of War, Deb. I appreciate all the support you give the channel. You are always sponsoring at least one opening a week. You have been in every single Saturday skirmish. And I do appreciate it. Thanks, Debbie. I'll get your cards packaged up and put them with your other cards that you have um, taken from the, the channel. We'll get those sent off on Monday. Now, Muskoka Cards, you won round one. So your gift package, your spoils of war, if you will, will from that battle, include one pack of 89 Fleer, now, these things are going for a little bit. I was on a baseball card exchange uh, yesterday. A box of these, this 89 Fleer in sealed baseball card exchange conditions is $159 a box. So what you're looking for, of course, Ken Griffey Jr. in that. I'm also sending out an Eddie Murray. This comes from Top Stadium Club during his playing days. This would be a 1992 Stadium Club Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. Also, we've got 
Nolan Ryan, the Ryan Express. This would be from his 89 top series, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson from 88 Fleer. Hall of Famer Dennis Eckersley from 88 Donruss. A nice Ricky Henderson Hall of Famer from 1990 Upper Deck. And a new rookie sensation right now, Kyle Lewis from Topps Big League, his rookie card. So that is your stack, your spoils of war from your battle with Debbie. So we'll set that aside with your cards. You get to keep those regardless of any future outcomes of the skirmish. All right. Let us move to round to the second round of the semifinals here. Steve and Kyle's cards. Here we go. Top three packs will be Steve's. They'll go to my left. Second three go to my right. Those are for Kyle. Okay, guys. For this round, we're looking for most career home runs. Steve, you get the privilege of being the first one to step up in battle. Looking for most career home runs. We're going to start out with a J.D. Martinez, a Kyle Schwarber, a Hyun Jin Ru, Javi Baez, Willie Castro, Trey Mancini, a Glaber Torres, and a Tyrone Taylor. A lot of young players there. I don't think we're going to see a lot of home runs on these. J.D. Martinez. He has a career 231 home runs. Kyle Schwarber. 110. Not, en not enough to beat your first one. We have a pitcher. No stats on that card. Willie Castro has one home run. Very young player. Although your Diamond King, your Javi Baez Diamond King is numbered out of 75. That one's numbered out of 75, so you got a great numbered card in that pack. Trey Mancini, no stats there. Glaber Torres, 62 home runs. Tyrone Taylor's a rookie. We're not going to see many for him. Zero. J.D. Martinez has... 231 home runs. That is going to be the number to beat right now. 231. All right, Kyle. Your turn. Kyle's cards. Your guy needs to beat J.D. Martinez. Let's see who we can find in your pack. All right. We're going to start with a pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. So he won't have any batting. Madison Bumgarner. He won't have any batting. We've got a Gary Carter. Now, Gary Carter was around a long time. This might be your winning card. And it's one of, from the insert. It's numbered out of 100. Hall of Famer Gary Carter, numbered out of 100. And you have a spacer card there. Have a Jorge Soler. A Dustin May rookie card. That's a good one to have. Brian Anderson Diamond King. Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. Nice. And Don Mattingly. Boy, with these players, Mattingly and Gary Carter in your pack, my goodness, I, th I think you're going to easily beat the young star, J.D. Martinez. All right. Boy, I don't even know who to who to put in the back for suspense. These are all such great players. Jorge Soler. Let's take a look at Jorge Soler. He only has 86 home runs. No stats on a Diamond King card. It's going to be between Larkin, Mattingly, and Carter. I think Carter had the longer career. Mattingly, boy. <laughs> home runs. Gary Carter, 324. That will beat J.D. Martinez. 
And that is, he's your highest one in your pack. 324 to J.D. Martinez's 231. Gary Carter takes the round. Kyle, you move ahead in the competition. And Steve, thank you so much for joining in and playing. So let's see what you brought home in your pack here. So you have the J.D. Martinez, the Tyrone Taylor, the Glaber Torres, the Trey Mancini, the Javi Baez, a Willie Castro, a Hyunjin, and a Kyle Schwarber. So you will take those home with you for sure. Let's take your name here and put it with your cards. Now, let's see what your other weapons of war hold. Let's see what else you're taking home today. In this pack, you're going to have a Starling Marte, a Vladimir Guerrero. You're going to have an insert. I don't think this one is numbered. Don't see a number on that one, but it is one of the parallels, the star parallels. You've got a Mitch Hanniger, a Sean Murphy, a Sean Murphy rookie, a Jorge Soler Diamond King, Adbert Alzale rookie card, and a nice Nolan Ryan throwback uh, Hall of Famer there. So that's your second pack. And your third and final weapon of war. Let's see what else you're taking home here. A Juan Soto, followed by Trevor Story. Oh, something nice coming up back here. We have a Jose Altuve, a Nolan Arenado Elite Series numbered out of 999. Those are a good looking card. I know they're not like rare, rare, they're, they're numbered out of 999, but I sure like the look of these cards. We pulled one last week like this too. It was the Beau Bichette rookie, I believe. There's an Aristides Aquino blue foil rookie card. That's a good one. Adbert Alzale, Rafael Devers, Jake Fraley. So that will be the, your stack. I will get those packaged up for you, Steve. Thank you so much for participating this week. I do appreciate it. Okay. That means we have to now show Kyle what he is taking home for winning round one. You will also receive a 1989 Fleer Pack and a Nolan Ryan 89 Tops Hall of Famer, a 92 Top Stadium Club John Smoltz Hall of Famer, 1990 Upper Deck Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett. There's a nice Cubs Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. And a Tom Glavin Hall of Famer 1988 Fleer Rookie card, followed by a modern rookie in Vladdy Jr. from uh, 2019 Tops Update. So those are your spoils of war for the first round. Set these over here with, whoops, sorry about that. Hit the camera with your stack. Now, Muskoka cards. We're going to move your stack to the left of the screen. And we're going to keep Kyle to the right so that we can keep consistent with the person in the top portion, top position is to the left, the person in this position to the right. That way we keep things consistent. All right, for our final round to determine this week's champion in this in this uh, skirmish, we're looking for the shortest player. All right, Muskoka cards, let us see who the shortest player in your pack is going to be. Put this weapon of war open for you. Let this pack war begin. We start with Sonny Gray. 
Bryce Harper, Austin Meadows. A nice Trevor Story Elite Series. That's out of $9.99. A Luis Severino Blue Foil. Nolan Arenado. El Nino, that is a variation, putting the nickname on there. And Edwin Rios, let us check out the heights of these players. Sonny Gray is 5'10". Bryce Harper is 6'3". Austin Meadows is 6'3". Trevor Story is 6'2". Severino is 6'2". Nothing on a Diamond Kings. 6'3 for Fernando Tatis. El Nino. And 6'3 for Edwin Rios. So 5'10". Right down here, 5'10", Sonny Gray. Muskoka cards. 5'10 is the height of your shortest player. Okay. Kyle's cards. Here we go. You have to beat shortest player, five foot ten. Start with Raphael Devers, Brandon Lowe, Xander Bogarts, Anthony Rizzo, Justin Verlander, Chris Bryant, Brian Abreu, and Daryl Strawberry. Those all seem like tall folks to me, Kyle. Raphael Devers is six feet tall. Oh, we have a tie so far. Brandon Lowe is five foot ten. Xander Bogarts, six one. Six three for Anthony Rizzo. Six five for Justin Verlander. 6'5 for Chris Bryant, 6'1 for Abreu, and Daryl Strawberry, a tall 6 feet 6 inches there at the top. We have a tie at 5 foot 10 inches. We are going to have to open another weapon of war and also choose another item here. Let me just tip this a little bit so that I can see my screen back here. I'm going to spin for another statistic. Let's see what comes up. And that stat is going to be best career ERA. Best career ERA is what we're looking for now for this tiebreaker. Okay, I thought you had it with 5 foot 10 Muskoka cards. That's pretty pretty short. Not too many players are shorter than that. All right, here we go Muskoka. Best career ERA. So we're looking for pitchers in this pack and I see uh I something good back here, something shiny. Let's see what we got. We got Albert Pujols. He is not a pitcher. Johnny Sueto is a pitcher. Josh Hader is a pitcher, a spacer card there. Paquito is a hitter. There's a nice Aquino rookie, he's a hitter. Rafael Devers, another hitter. Kevin Mitchell as well. Ricky Henderson, nice Hall of Famer. So we have numbered out of 85 is this Josh Hader foil. So you've got a nice numbered card there. We have an ERA, career ERA, because he's a rookie, of 1.19. Wow, 1.19. Oh my goodness, Josh Hader. 0.85. That is the one to beat. 0.85. That is a low ERA. Set that there. 0.85. All right, Kyle, you have got your work cut out for you now. A 0.85 ERA. I'm not even, I don't even know who might 
beat that one. We've got Blake Snell. He's a pitcher. Jeff McNeil is a hitter. There we a nice Gavin Lux, the rookies. Check that out. Numbered out of 149. Look at that. Now that's a sweet card to take home. He's a hitter. Rafael Devers, another hitter. Acuna Jr., Diamond King. The Polar Bear, that's a nice name variation there. We've got Willie Castro and Lewis Thorpe, rookie. All right, Kyle. It's between Blake Snell and the rookie, Lewis Thorpe. Let's look at Blake Snell first. He has an ERA of 1.24. That's not going to do it. All right, Lewis Thorpe, the rookie. Let's see what his ERA is. He's a lefty. Career totals. Not going to do it. 1.74. And our winner this week of the Saturday Skirmish is going to be Muskoka Cards and that Josh Hader ERA of .85. Look at that down there, .85 career ER, or sorry. Am I looking at the wrong number? My goodness, was I looking at WHIP? You must be kidding me. I was looking at WHIP. Josh Hader still has a 2.42. I'm going to look back through these cards. I apologize for that. I am not sure why my eyes were looking at Whip. We are going to have to take one more look at Johnny Sueto. He's a 3.35. Everybody else in that pack was a batter. That was for Muskoka cards. So Josh Hader is still the lowest at 2.42 for Muskoka cards. Now... We only had Brandon Lowe and Lewis Thorpe. Lewis Thorpe had a 6.18. Not Brandon Lowe. It was Blake Snell. Brandon Lowe's a hitter. Blake Snell had a 3.24. So even so, I guess that whip plays into ERA anyhow. So Josh Hader is still the winner of that. Boy, I apologize for looking at the wrong stat. Yeah, I guess I'm used to seeing ERA at the end of the line on stats, not in the middle of the row. But even still, Josh Hader, with a 2.42, had the lowest ERA uh, out of those players. So, Muskoka Cards, you move forward. Kyle's Cards, you gave it a good run. You are taking home some nice prizes and some nice cards. But we do have a winner for this week and a new reigning champion in Muskoka Cards. Thank you everyone for participating. Sorry for that little glitch at the end there with the ERA. Um, but thanks again for playing. I will get your cards packaged up. I ship out items on the 1st and the 15th. So everybody's cards will go out Monday. And then Debbie, you have some other cards sitting here that are yours as well. I'll include those in your package. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you have not, and I hope to see more folks in next week's Saturday Skirmish. The more people that uh, get into the skirmish, the better the prizes, of course. Speaking of prizes, we also need to reveal what Muskoka Cards is taking home this week. So first on the block is a hanger box of 2020 Heritage Baseball. Now I have, I sent out a, um, I guess a comment the other day asking folks if they preferred that their prizes be opened on the channel or open at home. And most of the votes came back that they would like to open them at home. So the prizes from the rounds, if there are unopened items there, I will send those to you unopened. And of course, the championship prize will be sent out unopened as well. The only one that I will open, well, maybe I won't. You guys want them opened at home. I will leave it sealed. 
This is the second part of your prize. It is a PSA graded card. So that is what all I will say about that. So as you can see, the more players we get, the better the prizes become. So I would hope that we can get eight players next week. So thanks everyone for playing this week. I'll see everybody tomorrow for Sunday Stacks. We're going to open some Heritage, 2020 Heritage, and we're going to continue our search for Hall of Famers, rookies, and Reggie Jackson autographs in our 1990 upper deck boxes. So uh, join us for that. Everyone have a great Saturday. Have a happy Halloween tonight. Get yourselves out there trick-or-treating. Get that bag of candy to offset the fact that many of us have to stay at home because of this virus going on. But go out there and enjoy the holidays. Stay warm. Brush your teeth when you're done with your candy. And have a wonderful evening. Good night, everyone.